Coach Hill hadn't played in over a week. Ricky hadn't played longer than that. But it seemed like the energy was still there, um, even though it might have been rusty a little bit in the first quarter. Um, it seemed like they came out and played played hard there, especially Ricky had career high in rebounds, I think. Did you like what you saw from uh, Ricky especially and, and from the team from an energy perspective? I did, and it started on their game day practice um, this afternoon around noontime. Uh, they had really good energy, you know, and we talked a little about the difference between having a great day and making it a great day, having a great practice or making it a great practice, and it's, a, it's our choice on how we want to pursue it. It doesn't just happen. You, you know, maybe you get 20 good days in your, out of the year where everything is right. And then the other ones, you got to compete to make them, uh, to make it right. And, and I think each day in practice, we do a little better job with that. Like we work, we have control over those things: our attitude, our energy, how we're talking to each other. And uh, yeah, I, I was impressed with our enthusiasm and, and our ability to lift others up. All right, Colin, go ahead. Remember, use that raise your hand function if you got questions for Coach. Coach, you've talked uh, all season about how you want your teams to play with intensity throughout the game. And this one, you know, after your previous two games, you got off to a bit of a slow start and then, you know, secure the win over the course of the game. This one, you guys kind of dominate from start to finish. Uh, is that starting to reflect the values you're trying to instill in this team? Maybe. I hope. <laughs> I can't be too confident with that. Uh, it's a day-to-day -day thing. That's all I can say. It's day-to-day -day, uh, competing for that that focus and that energy, um, you know. And sometimes your competition lets you off the hook and doesn't make you pay. And so you may look a little bit better than what you were. Um, I actually thought this was the best team, uh, excluding South Dakota State, that we had played coming in. Uh, it, it may not have looked like it tonight. Uh, I don't know if they had their best game or not. Uh, you know, coach has to figure that stuff out. Uh, but I know that we made it hard on them, and and that would be our goal: control the things we can control. And and defensively, I thought we did some some pretty good things. And then again, we got out in the break, and we didn't turn the ball over. I don't know. First half, I think we had one turnover. We ended up with 18 and 10. And then you know, on the other side, you know, we were able to turn them over some. So again, there's the possession game that that we're hunting. All right, Robbie, back to you. And you mentioned a little bit there, um, protecting the basketball. Y'all been pretty good at that in the first few games this season. What do you feel like has been the key to that? I mean, you have so many new faces on this team, a lot of players that haven't played together. It can get kind of disjointed at times, but it seems like they've done a pretty good job of taking care of the basketball. Yeah, we spend a lot of time on it. So, you know, and there's no punishment, there's no goal even. You know, in terms of how many turnovers is acceptable, but you know, we study the game. We we know what the high high risk passes are. Um, you know, we know how to transfer the ball right to left so that we can throw the ball across our body when we need to. We know how to start and we know how to stop. And and really, you just teach that foundation, and and the kids will take it to another level and they'll figure out what they can and can't make. But, you know, we help them out with percentages of what a good pass is and what a good pass isn't. Um, and so they, they've done a nice job with that. All right, Colin, we'll go to you. We've got a, time for a couple more after Colin. So raise your hands if you uh, have more questions for Coach. Colin, go ahead. Uh, Anastasia Hayes and Ja'Kayla Jordan, uh, they've really proven over these first few games that you know, Rikia Jackson isn't the only good scorer on this team. Uh, how have you felt about the, what they've brought to your team this season? Yeah, I thought Annie was tremendous tonight, and, and she played with a lot of different lineups. And her stat line, I mean, she really filled it up. So five assists and two turnovers. Uh, and then Maya was, you know, her normal self, like seven and, and zero. So between those two guards, we're racking up a lot of assists and sharing the ball. Uh, and then she has timely scores. So again, yeah, I've said this about Jerkayla before, you know, why do we like her so much? Well, obviously, because she can shoot the three and she can defend a bigger body and she does some things. But, you know, when you need a basket, uh, Annie's, Annie's right there. 
and it's not she can score at any point in time. Uh, she's that gifted. But you know, there's some baskets mean more than others, and there's always a course. There's a time in course of the game where we need somebody to get to the rim, somebody to draw to and find that open man on the backside. And, and she's the best of both worlds because she can make a play for herself and then she can get a teammate wide open at the same time. So between uh, Jerkayla and Annie, um, you know, those, those are weapons on the floor added with Maya and Rakia. And there's no one that's singled out. Uh, they're playing off of each other. And so one night somebody has 20 the, and somebody has 15 and someone has 10. It's just what, what, is the game, uh, what is the game calling for? And so you put all your egos aside, you put everything aside, and you're saying, what does this team need? And, and those four players are really doing an outstanding job. All right, Robbie, back to you. You're about to go on the road for the first time. Might not be a true road environment, but you're leaving town and you're playing in a different kind of atmosphere. Um, what are you gonna? What do you feel like you're gonna see from the two teams that you meet out there? Or and are you anxious? Are you excited to, to see your team out there? Or what's kind of your early thoughts on uh, what's coming up the rest of this week? Oh, I'm excited. I mean, those are two great teams, much bigger bodies than what we've faced. South Dakota State would have been the closest. Uh, their, their size was more like length on the perimeter. I mean, these are some you know, like legitimate high major Division I players that we're getting ready to go against, and the bodies are going to be different. Um, you know, it's going to be different playing outside of, of the hump. This is, this is quite an environment. We're pretty comfortable here. Um, you know, but this is, you know, this is the next phase of what we need you know, moving into SEC play. Um, so, so I think this will be a great test for us. All right, that'll do it, Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you.